I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I will be playing with this Hawkeye the Cycle deck. It's the 3.0, uh, yeah, Hawkeye the Cycle deck as I just said. It's a really solid deck in my opinion. Hawkeye isn't the best at tournament standard. But I will start off the episode with this deck. So I will play with this deck first. But then I will actually, I did it once before, but then I will actually copy my opponent's deck. So I guess you can name it, yeah, copy my opponent's deck challenge. I'm not sure how to name it. But I would then copy my opponent's deck, then I will play another battle, then again I will copy my opponent's deck, and that in the grand challenge. So it should be a lot of fun. I would just start off with this deck, I think it's pretty solid overall, so if you're looking for a whole card deck, feel free to copy it. But, oh, they also did a Valkyrie mini challenge by the way, but I don't think it's worth it. I actually made a poll on Twitter asking if you guys would like to see a video on that. But um, like 60% out of the like seven, uh, yeah, 700 votes said no, I don't like it. So yeah, I would just start um, start this. The last episode got like 60k views and a lot of positive feedback. I asked if you guys would like another, yeah, copy my opponent's deck challenge. And a lot of people said, yeah, that was cool. So I hope you guys will enjoy it this time as well. I hope it will be a lot of fun, but let's see what our opponent is playing. So he starts off with a knight in the back. We have a hawk rider. I think I would just go with a hawk rider. We don't really have anything he does uh, i'm not sure if i want to fireball this i might wait maybe he will drop something else as well if not i can always fireball but let's drop an electro wizard i think he's using graveyard because he showed us a knight he showed us skeletons and a lock i think yeah definitely graveyard let's fireball his furnace to get damage and to um to uh, yeah almost take out the furnace not quite but the e wiz will yeah also let's see oh he actually drops a knight well played by him for sure I think I will go with a uh, yeah I will go with the knight I will go with skeletons ice spirit and graveyard is kind of a hard matchup but let's let's drop Ewis hopefully in time we, yeah we don't take that much damage he does do quite a lot of damage he actually poisons as well good poison because all my troops will die I mean I want to say aggressive but it, he will get some value out of that so well played by him and I know that he has skeletons I don't think that he has furnace in cycle so let's lock pre-lock right now maybe yeah we do hit the skeletons that huge because the damage or the yeah the DPS of skeletons are insane look at the whole crowd going ham I think there was four hits wow even five hits guys that's insane and I don't know yeah I won't fireball here because that would be over commitment if he drops anything like besides it I can always fireball of course but otherwise it would be over commitment I would just go safe with the inferno right now he uh, drops a knight in the back that looks like he's going for another push, maybe backed up by archers. So I have my fireball ready. If he drops his e I might actually fireball that as well. Yeah, I will definitely fireball here. Um, I will drop knight, I will drop skeletons over here to hopefully take out the e -wiz. It does look like it. I will lock as well defensive. And now the only thing we have to do is fireball twice on his right side tower. So let's say he drops another furnace, we can definitely fireball that. Let's see if he actually goes with another furnace. Yeah, he actually does. Wow, he gives us fireball value. We only need one more fireball right now. And his deck is actually really, yeah, good um, or popular. I don't know how to say that, but that's actually good for us. Not that we uh, not that we have to play with a troll deck. I know that you guys would love to see me play with a troll deck in a grand challenge. But I'm actually happy we will get a good deck for the next one. So, um, or only 25 seconds left. I think I will, no, I will just go with a whole crowd to pressure, forcing him to defend. If not, I will take the tower. He actually drops his furnace. I will, um, let's see, I will just drop a knight right now. I kind of don't want to waste it yet, just because he can still, like with the graveyard, you can always come back. So let's look right here. Eight seconds left. Let's ice spirit, cycling back to another knight. Four seconds, let's fireball now. That looks like good game. So let's give him the good game. The well played and the thumbs up. And as you can see, this Hawk deck is super solid. In my opinion, I might actually do an episode like only playing this Hawk deck. Today it's the copy my opponent's deck challenge. But I might actually do that one. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Let's look at his deck. There it is. So let's copy it to deck slot number two. And as I said, this is a pretty popular and good deck. So I'm, I'm very happy that we got this deck as a first yeah, uh, deck of the opponent. But we'll do two more. So let's see what we face and what deck he's using. But I think it's it's just cool to yeah play multiple decks and maybe even get a troll deck or maybe get yeah some strange cards. I think that's definitely fun. Let's try to predict his miner. We did predict. I will log as well to hit the skeletons and kill the miner. So, so far a really good start actually. 
I kind of just want to sit back while he actually goes aggressive. Let's drop an Electro is on top. The e is super strong. So there you go. The, the Goblin Gang goes down. And he zaps as well. It will still get one hit. So I would just pressure him right now on the right side with the Furnace. Forcing him to defend. Um, he actually goes with a um, Collector. Interesting deck by him. I think he's using three Muskies. If he is, I will actually go with a Graveyard on top there. If he drops anything, I can poison. Looks like he will drop his Knight. That will still take out the Collector. He's giving me value because he's dropping so much stuff. I can just lock that soon. And I'm almost 100% sure that he's using three Musketeers. He's giving the Angry Face. I understand. I mean, I almost took out his Pump. He gave us such yeah good lock value. I will drop my knight here. I will also drop Ewis. The Ewis is super good versus the Battle Ram. I've been using Battle Ram as well, but the Ewis like just stuns it all the time. There you go. The Battle Ram goes down. The Fire Spirits actually splashes them. And I will pressure with another Furnace. There you go. He drops his three Muskies. If we didn't go with the Furnace, I think I would have poisoned them right away with hitting the tower as well. But we still should be able to defend this. Let's actually drop Arches here. Let's drop a lock on the right side or on the left side. We don't have that much elixir. I tried to let the musketeer lock on the tower and then hopefully the skeletons are able to take it out. It does look like it. So I took a bit of damage, but if I let the musketeer be in range or take out the, um, yeah, the skeletons, we would have taken more damage. So I think that was the right decision right there. And we're still leading with uh, with the damage. So And he's forced to, like as you can see, the furnace, like it keeps chipping away. He's forced to defend that, which he isn't doing. I know that he has Goblin Gang in cycle, so I'm waiting a bit. There he goes. I will actually poison this because it's it's some value and we still get damage. Look at the graveyard. The knight was tanking, so he was forced to... Look at the RNG. It was pretty good. Like, they spawned um, pretty... Wow, two Fire Spirits on the tower. That's huge. Let's try to cycle back to another poison. I'm not sure if we need it. I mean, the knight in defense is just solid as well. I will e with the right side. Drop a knight on the left side. The one archer on the left side is doing a good job at countering the miner. And he's actually using a good deck as well. So the next replay or the next game you guys will see me play with um, with three muskies. Which should be a lot of fun. He's saying well played. So I don't think... Yeah, I definitely think it's good. Or uh, yeah, I, I think it's good game. But let's see what he drops. I will... Yeah, I will just poison that one, uh, that one musketeer. I will drop the uh, graveyard defensive. I guess it's GG anyways. I can log as well. And that's definitely a good game. So let's give him the good game, the well played, and the thumbs up. And so far, we're actually doing a really good job, guys. And the decks we're facing are good. But that also means that we will be playing with some good decks. So that's definitely positive for us. But let's let's look at his deck. He had an interesting deck. He's playing, I, I believe this is a top ladder deck. So let's let's copy it. Let's see. Yeah, he does have it on his profile. So let's see. Let's, uh, let's go over the deck real quick. It's, so you're trying to build an advantage, obviously. I guess it's weak to lock bait, but you do have the Goblin Gang. And it's actually, I, I really like this deck. So let's see how we do. And let's see what our opponent is playing as well. And after this one, I will do one more with the deck, um, what my opponent is using. And that will be the episode. But let's focus on this game right now. So he's throwing a wow, wow. He, he's spamming wow and he gives us the crying face. Maybe he knows us. That would be pretty funny. But let's give him the good luck, of course. So he poisons our um, collector, which, yeah, I mean, is, is good for us, I guess. I mean, of course, he's denying us from getting an advantage. But now he doesn't have the poison to defend our three musketeers. He drops his minions in the back that one musketeer will get some value. Uh, he actually locks right there. And that's, I think that's, that will, um, well, we might actually take a tower right here just because he used his lock that early in the game. And I will have my zap ready in case he drops. He actually drops that. Um, let's actually go. Hopefully in time. Hopefully in time. Zap, 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 zap. Look at that, guys. I dropped a miner on the right side. Thanking for the musketeer. Forcing him to spend his lock as well. Look at the damage we did. We are taking some damage on the left side. I will distract the knight with some skeletons. But look at the damage, guys. Over. Um, let's see. I think, wow. Even, yeah. Over 1,500 damage. Just insane. Um, just by the first push, sort of. Like, he focused on the left side. Yeah, for us to the left side, for his to the right side. But he totally focused on the... Yeah, the, the left side for us. He totally focused on the left side. Just because I dropped a lot of stuff over there. I went with the Goblin Gang. And I was actually able to put the Miner and Zap the Tower to retarget it onto our Miner. So the Miner could tank for the Musketeer. He was reactive with the Lock, so well played by him. Otherwise, that would have been Tower. But that's still pretty well played by us, in my opinion. The miner is a bad miner just because his e will get a lot of value.
But I think I will force him to uh, poison the two musketeers by splitting two to the left. And hopefully that one will get some good value. Let's see what he drops right now. I have my goblin gang ready. I will drop my goblin gang right now. He actually fully ignores that. I will zap as well. I think he will take the tower right here because we don't have much elixir. Uh, we don't have an e wish so really well played by him. Definitely well played. Let's give him the well played. And now we need to focus on... Well, I think... I was about to say, well, I think that will 3 crown. But let's actually go again with the same move. Hopefully the, um, the muskies will actually split because otherwise he will poison them all. Let's see if he drops his poison. He does drop the poison on all of them. Really well played. He dropped the knight to tank. He's a very good player. Um, I know that he has the... I know that he has the lock. He will actually lock right there. Well played by him. I don't think... I think this is game already. Just because he has... Like his deck is super solid versus us because we can't really come true. He's giving the crying face. And I definitely think that's a good game. Let's let's drop three muskets. I don't even think I split them. Wow, what a fail by me. He will poison that for sure. Uh, he has to look again in cycle. So let's actually go with... Uh, yeah, I guess it's over anyways. Eight seconds left. He can retarget our miner with the e -west. He didn't predict it, but that's still a good game. So let's give him the good game, the well played, and the thumbs up. So we couldn't really do much versus his... Um, First his push, he's BMing us. But let's let's copy his deck because his deck was actually pretty solid. I feel like this is a meta deck as well. We do have the, the Wi-Fi symbol for a few seconds. Luckily it's gone again. But this deck, I don't think we could do much in this matchup because he has the Barbarian Hut for our um for our battle ram. Like the EU is a solid counter versus that as well. And we don't really have good graveyard counters. If you look at it in a way, if he uses lock or poison. But definitely GG anyway. So let's look at his deck. It's just, um, yeah, I, I guess it's sort of the same graveyard deck we already played. But instead of Archers, Minions, instead of Furnace, Barbarian Hot. So let's let's just get into the game. Hopefully we will get another win. That would be pretty cool. But if not, no problem, of course. Every deck has his counters and every deck has his matchups. So let, let's give this guy a thumbs up and a good luck. And let's see what he's using. So, I mean, th this time we won't copy his deck. So even if he's using a troll deck, you guys won't see it because this is the last game. And he actually started off with a miner. I will drop a knight on that. I think I will make a counter push out of it by dropping... Um, let's see. Yeah, I will definitely go with the electro wizard behind it. He actually decides to put um, a goblin gang. I will lock that. Then I will drop a graveyard. So the knight is tanking right now. The e is behind it. I was about to say, he will definitely focus on, on my e -wiz. So his Mega Man will actually... Oh, wow, I was about to say his Mega Man will actually die. Look at the damage we're doing. Maybe he will go... Yeah, I was about to say, maybe he will go with another miner. But we have our knight ready for his e -wiz. Let's drop that. And the minions could kill off the, uh, the miner. So, so far, we're actually doing a really good job. We didn't play our Barbarian Hut yet. I think I will do that soon. Depending on how much he spends right here. Let's see, I think, yeah, we will definitely be able to drop a Barbarian Hut. So let's drop a Barbarian Hut right now. Going into the same lane, we are pushing as well. Just because he's yeah constantly forced to defend the Barbarians. Um, even if we're pushing, the Barbarians are super strong. He drops his Tombstone. I want Poison right here. That would be a bit aggressive. But if he, um, if he gives us any Poison value, like, right, for example, Arches, means whatever, I will definitely Poison to get damage. He actually goes with a Golem. So let's rush the other lane with a e wiz and a graveyard. I mean, it's kind of aggressive, but we still have the Barbarian Hut, and that will definitely deal some solid damage. Knowing he doesn't have the Goblin Gang uh, in cycle, he actually just uses arrows. So let's go with minions on top of the golem. And he doesn't have that much elixir to defend it. If you look at it like he spent 8 elixir, then he dropped the. Um, the, yeah, he spent 8 elixir on the golem. Then I forced him to spend the Mega Minion and the arrows. So he spent a lot to defend that. And we still did a ton of damage. Look at the barbarians on that side. Here, our poison. He even put us. Uh, he even gave us more value, just because he actually put the goblin gang inside or uh, next to his e -wiz. I wanted to poison the e -wiz anyways, but I think that will be tower right here, knowing that he has. Yeah, I was about to say, knowing that he has arrows and a miner. He's forced to drop his miner, but I think it will still be tower. Let's see. Yeah, that's definitely tower. Let's actually cycle back. Oh wow, it isn't tower. He defended it. Well played by him. But he's still low on elixir. He's giving the angry face, knowing that we yeah keep the pressure up. We're doing a qu a quite a good job so far, and we don't really allow him to build up a push. We are constantly pressuring him. That that will be tower number um number one actually. Now we will take tower number two, and uh, maybe this this will even be a free crown. He drops his e wiz I don't think this will be a free crown. Maybe we can get a the graveyard on top. Doesn't look like it. 
Well, I'll drop it anyways, but let's, let's give him the good game, the well played and the thumbs up. So me being able to keep the pressure up actually didn't allow him to build a push. So that was a pretty good game. We won not all of our matches. We lost one, but out of the four matches, we won three. The first one with the Hulk Rider, then a graveyard deck, then three muskies versus the graveyard. And again, we won with the graveyard. So as you can see, graveyard is still strong. The Hulk Rider deck, it's a really fun deck. If you guys would like to see an episode on that deck, definitely let me know. I would love to make a, uh, yeah, an episode on how to play the deck doing a few live battles, may maybe even finishing this grand challenge. But just let me know guys. So as you can see, three wins, one loss in this grand challenge. Not bad at all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave that like. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye.